What's up, mofos? Welcome to Brian's Kitchen. I'm gonna teach you how to cook some stuff. Uh, we're gonna just put a bunch of jumbled ass shit together. No, not really. Really what we're gonna do here is make kind of a Mexican dish. It's gonna be a healthy Mexican dish. I'm gonna be using eggs, I'm gonna be using ground turkey. I'm gonna be using salsa, corn salsa, a little bit of uh, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna be using zucchini, squash, Look at these little guys, little baby peppers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm also going to be using Greek yogurt, tomatoes, or whatever else. Uh, first off, we're going to be cutting up everything. I'm going to start off by cutting up all the zucchini, squash, and uh, peppers. And we're going to get everything cut up, put it into one pile. And then we're going to mix everything together and get everything rocking and rolling. All right, let's do it. All right, here's a low-fat Mexican casserole ingredients list here to wide range of vegetables as well as lean ground turkey. Serves about two to three people. So I hope you all enjoy it and hope you enjoy the show. Tell you what, when you're doing this, you gotta make sure you have the right jams on. Cause if you don't have the right jams, this shit just ain't gonna work. Anyways, let's get to cut this stuff up. We're gonna cut the peppers up, cut the zucchini up into small little chunks. You know, the purpose for the zucchini is the water. Um, I use uh, the cooked off water uh, kind of as the water for the brown rice. Uh, that way it cooks the brown rice at the bottom and gets it nice and fluffy and makes it perfect. Anyways. Alright, now that I've cored out all my peppers, I cut my zucchini and my squash into fourths, as you can tell. So I'm going to cut those up even more. Cut my tomatoes into halves. So I'm going to chop those up a little bit more as well. Uh, like chunks and stuff like that. That way they're easily mixed together. And then, uh, you know, we can put it in a pan with everything else. Probably going to mix the Greek yogurt in with it. Mix the salsa in with it. And then what we'll do is take tur turkey and put it on top, like ground turkey, and just kind of sprinkle it around on top. I'll show you that here in just a minute. But I'm going to get on uh, cutting this up and uh, rocking and rolling. Alright, check it out ninjas, uh, I got everything chopped up, it's so colorful and so pretty, yeah, 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 whatever. Anyways, we're getting ready to mix this shit up, and we're gonna cook it and see what happens. Alright, here we are, we're at kind of a turning point, where we're gonna go two different ways. We're gonna go one part where we're gonna cook it. Um, we're, we're gonna put brown rice on the bottom and all the vegetables, the water coming off the vegetables, that's gonna cook the brown rice. And then we're gonna have turkey on top and the turkey's gonna cook into it as well. The other version, we're gonna cook the turkey first. Then we're gonna take it, mix it into the cold version of this, and we're gonna add avocado, we're gonna add lime juice, we're gonna add some pepper, a uh, little bit of cilantro, and we're gonna kinda make it my version of like a turkey type cold guacamole it's great if you put it on I mean you can great nah, what am I trying to say it's great if you eat it itself as well as you can put on like a rice cake hell you can go get some whole wheat tortillas and put it in that as well so it's kind of up to you in that situation or you could also cook up brown rice on its own and pour it over cold up over top uh, this is without cooking the vegetables, so the vegetables are going to stay hard and crisp. They're going to be fantastic. So let's see what we come up with. As you see right here, what I'm doing is 
throwing turkey chunks in. I already put my eggs in, cracked the eggs, threw them in there. So I'm just putting chunks of turkey, and what we're going to do is just mix it all together. We're going to take it. I've got this right here. That's our brown rice in the bottom. We're just going to take it and put it on top of the brown rice. We're going to put it in the oven for about 45 minutes-ish. Uh, and then we're going to take it out, and it should be ready to go. And what we can do is either put some guacamole on top for a little garnish, and we can put some uh, Greek yogurt on top for a garnish. Greek yogurt is great. It's kind of like a uh, sour cream substitute. So anytime you have that craving for sour cream, I would use Greek yogurt. I mean, Greek yogurt is, it, I think it's great on anything. And, you know, you get tons of protein, not a lot of calories, not a lot of fat calories, usually no fat calories. And uh, you just got to watch when you're selecting it, uh, watch for the sugar in it. Uh, the sugar's has a tendency to, to be a little higher on Greek yogurt. You just gotta look out for those things and pick and choose how you will. All right, now what you wanna do, you wanna brown that turkey up a little bit. So right here, I've got my turkey kinda cooking. I'm gonna start browning it up once it heats up a little bit and uh, you know get that going. And what I'll do is end up mixing that brown turkey. I'll let it cool down a little bit first. And mix that brown turkey in with the, the cold mix I have right here. So here's, here's the cold mix I have. And what I'll do also is add, add that Greek yogurt and then add some avocados. So I've got fresh avocados right here. Fresh avocados right here that I've got ready to go. So once I add that, it'll make a cool mixture, perfect for the summertime, perfect for the springtime, and you're gonna love it. Alright, as you notice, I, it, it got too damn hot in the kitchen, so I had to take my shirt off. Alright, here we are. Two different dishes, made two different ways. So we have one that's cooked, and one that's not cooked. One that has avocado, one that doesn't have avocado. Now these dishes all have the exact same concept. They all have the exact same ingredients. They just are made three different ways. So that three different ways, can have three different things. They're going to taste a little bit different. They're going to have their own unique personality. They're going to have their own unique flavor. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of variety when cooking this. So you don't always have to cook that dish. You can always make varieties. You know, there's always varieties to something. So, you know, enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys learn from it and hope to see you soon. Anyways, <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to add that Greek yogurt. To the cold. I'm not gonna add the uh, the avocados yet. Uh, the reason being, you know, avocados have a tendency once they hit the air, they, they tend to go bad really fast, or they tend to brown really fast. Um, so I'm gonna keep that and hold it off because this this is something I'm gonna keep in the fridge for a little bit. And you know, when I'm ready to use it, that's when I'll cut open an avocado, put it in it, call it good. You know what I mean? And uh, here we go. I got my my turkey brown. Turkey brown's all ready to go. Once that cools down, I'm gonna add that to this, and then we're basically done with it. Um, and once everything else gets done cooking, which is cooking right now, you can kind of see it. Um, it's looking good, it's looking fantastic. It's gonna be great, and we're gonna be kicking ass. Got the thing on my way